Yo, what's up guys? Yeah, Pokegame here. Today I have the next episode of the OU Road to Top 10 on Pokemon Showdown and Pokemon Sword and Shield. Of course, thank you everybody for all the support on, you know, the series so far. It's been a lot of fun. If you missed any of my previous episodes, there is a playlist down below. Also, if you're new to the channel, if you've seen a few things in my videos, maybe, you know, feel free to subscribe. It's free. It helps me out. I'm very, very close to 248,000 subscribers and, you know, I'm halfway, quote unquote, to my 300,000 subscriber goal by the end of the year. So of course, subscribing does uh, help me out. And yeah, if you guys wanna use a team for today, check out my website, pokeamenu.com. Big shout out to Finch. And I mean, that's it. Let's get right into team preview. All right, so we're starting off today's team with Volcarona. My first time using Volcarona on the OU road to top 10. We have heavy duty boots, of course, because we wanna avoid that stealth rock damage. I mean, that four times, you know, stealth rock damage did a lot, man, the Volk with uh, Quiver Dance, Fire Dance, Psychic, and Substitute. Uh, we have 56 HP EVs and 24 Defense EVs, allowing us to live a foul play with our Substitute from Mandibuzz. So that means that we can actually uh, Quiver Dance in front of Mandibuzz and you know not really have to worry about that damage and sub in front of it as well. Uh, with Modest Nature and 176 Special Attack EVs, we do 2 hit KO Physically Defensive Mandibuzz at plus one with Fiery Dance. The rest is put into speed, allowing us to outspeed Rotom and Rillaboom. Uh, the Honestly, it could go timid to outspeed Excure or Shifu, and we'll see as we go and as we're playing around, and if that's the case, I will go max speed. But uh, with a Quiver Dance, our sub is not broken by Defensive Rotom Heat's Discharge. It's also not broken by Toxpex's Pex's Scald after a Quiver Dance. And then we do a lot of work with Psychic from Volcarona. Next up, we do have Toxapex with uh, Skull, Toxic, Recover, and Haze. This is one of our Volcarona checks. This is a potential Cinderace check. This is... Uh, a Magirna check, whether it be specs or just setup, as long as it doesn't get tricked. Uh, Black Sludge for the recovery. Skull Toxic. Recover and Haze. Like I said, Haze just stops that setup. Toxic, of course, for Pokemon like Volcarona and Mandibuzz. And just spreading status is very important because we do have a Hex Dragapult in the team. Um, and that's obviously boosted in power. The Max HP 96 Defense with a Bold Nature allows us to take two Jollies and Headbutts from uh, Cinderace. If it is adamant, though, it has a 97% chance to 2 KO, so that's just something we can't avoid. Of course, the Spadef helps us take on Pokemon like Dragapult, Magirna, as well as Volcarona just a bit better. Mandibuzz is our next member running Physically Defensive Mandibuzz. This is our extra drill check for the team with Max HP. 132 defense. The 20 special defense lets us take a potential assault vest Magirna's Fleur Cannon. The max it could do is 99 with no investment. Uh, the 104 speed allows to outspeed minus Age Slash and anything around that benchmark. Adam and Azu, um, Marowak as well. It's jolly. I mean, the speed helps just in general with that. With foul play to bop most of them, especially like a plus six Azumarill. Uh, that's something we do have to fear, but I mean, we live plus six Aqua Jet and we do like 66% or something like that with foul play after their plus six. U turn for momentum, of course, defog with the heavy duty boots. We avoid the hazards, we get rid of the hazards too. Excadrill is the next member of the squad, and we are running Stealth Rock, Earthquake, Iron Head, and Toxic. Again, Toxic spreading that status, helping Dragapult really just pressure teams with Specs Hex. Uh, this is our Stealth Rocket for the team. We have Leftovers for Longevity. We have 224 uh, Defense EVs. It's been FEVs, excuse me. Special Defense EVs, rather. Uh, and this allows us to take on Magirna's Specs or Sphere. We guarantee live it. This is a Magirna answer as well for the team, too. Max speed. That way, at worst, we can speed tower Jiro. The rest was put into attack. Now, some Magirna are not running, actually, or Sphere on their set. Some are running, you know, a Volt Switch, Flash Cannon, uh, Flare Cannon, and then um, Trick. But some also do run Aura Sphere because that helps them deal with obviously Excadrill as well as Ferrothorn. So we can live that. And if they have Focus Blast, we're going to dodge it anyway. So it doesn't really matter. Leftovers, of course, for Longevity too. And this is the Specs Dragapult that I was talking about. We have Draco Meteor, Shadow Ball, Thunder, and Hex. Thunder is a 2 hit KO on even specially defensive Mandom Buzz. It can knock out physically defensive Mandom Buzz. It can knock out Toekiss as well. We have the Infiltrator, so we don't care about subs or, or screens or any of that. And Hex is doubled in power when it comes to the uh the status that we got from toxic toxapex toxic excadrill potentially skull burns also coming out from toxapex so that's just really strong and then of course we have shadow ball which is spammable prior to your opponent taking damage and last but not least we have the glue which holds the team together clefable uh we're moonblast soft boiled knockoff and wish passing wish to volcarona that way we don't have to i mean it's ruthless volcarona so we don't have to actually play it like 
we don't have to keep it for end game to sweep or use an early game and, and sack it so we can do damage. Uh, but Clefable uh, acts as our dragon check, being able to take on Dragapult. The 156 defense allows us to take two Plasma Fists from Zero Aura always with leftovers as well. Um, and we can even take Magnet Plasma Fists sometimes, two of them. And then uh, also Urshifu is Wicked Blow. We're able to live two as well and then softball for reliable recovery knockoff getting rid of leftovers life orb choice band whatever it is obviously helps us out and then wish support just helping out the rest of the team but that's the team for today let's get right into today's sponsor bro did you see what blunder was wearing i guess that's why he doesn't show his face i'm saying man he was rocking that ridge wallet though oh that ridge wallet was clean i know right it holds up to 12 cards it ships worldwide has a lifetime warranty and you can get it right now for 10 percent off maybe blunder does have some taste nah all right so big shout out to the ridge wallet team of course for the sponsor don't have too many left with them actually um but thank everybody for all the support on it for just like clicking the link it helps me out but even those that have gone uh above and beyond i said going <laughs> above and hunter hunter uh and i've gone above and beyond and actually picked up a wallet i appreciate yeah so yeah uh i'll show my rank real quick 1806 i believe we were 1815 when we stopped last time so we decayed a little bit uh 49 and 8 and uh hopefully we get to around 1850 today that's my goal uh, it is a little bit earlier than i usually record typically i let a day go by and i eat and you know that plays a big difference i think when it comes to me actually playing but we'll see how that ends up going today so not a matchup i like very much i'm gonna be honest um vocal runner is very good but i need a weekend dragapult obviously they do have a pre-marino which is a giant threat to me and i have to be careful about letting that thing in now I do have Specs Dragapult, which just goes absolutely in in this game. Draco Meteor and Thunder, or Shadow Ball as well, is just really, really good. Um, Volcarona stopping Rillaboom is really nice as well. And being able to potentially get a Toxic off on something is cool too. I'm just a little bit worried about that Primarina. Like, I'm actually so worried about Primarina to the point that I'm, I'm willing to lead off with Excadrill and click Toxic on it. That way it can't subcom mine and uh, beat my Toxic effects. But at the same time, though, that obviously lets something like Magnezone in. Volcarona can deal with Rillaboom, you, I don't know how much health you need or how much damage you need on, uh, I've never, like, I don't think I've used Volcarona uh, outside of, like, Dynamax meta. <laughs> so, on, like, I'm talking about, like, on my DS, Switch, whatever we're playing on. So, plus one, there's nothing, plus one, there's about 60, something to 70. Okay, so, um, I like Drill for, like, the reason that I mentioned before. It's good versus Zone, which is actually good versus a lot of my team. Um, it can Toxic Primarina, and I'm, I'm willing to throw away Drill to Toxic it. That way I don't lose uh, to to it, basically, if it's like sub -com mine. Uh, Dragapult, I'm going to be using it offensively in this game a lot. And yeah, I mean, Cinderace is really good versus me too. They end up leading off a of Dragapult. Now, I am uh, I'm very bulky on this Drill, so I don't think there's a lot that Dragapult can actually knock me out with. And let's just see, let's just assume specs. Yeah, Fire Blast is even a roll at best. So I'm, again, like I'm willing to use this mod to toxic Pokemon uh, to do so as I dodge a Fire Blast, which I'm very grateful for. I'm very grateful for. Now, again, if it's specs, uh, it was a roll that's severely in my favor to knock me out. Then again, they could have been modest or timid. Um, I can absolutely go toxic specs here. And I'm, 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 no, I'm just like, I'm so just as willing to just click Earthquake here because I don't want them going Magnezone on that. I'm, I'm going to be very aggressive. Uh, that Toxic is so good for Tox effects as well. Yeah, I'm Earthquaking. They did nothing to me. They're Scarf. So this is really, really good for Volcarona. That is super good for Volcarona. It's basically dead at that point. Uh, we'll make the Tox effects play as they make the Rillaboom play. Very good play on their part. Now, I can live even a Banded Woodhammer. And Volcarona can come in and revenge kill them, so we'll click Toxic now. Yep, they are banded. Uh, we'll click Toxic now, and I I want to say I can almost win the game. I just want to make sure that my uh, my Manda Buzz can also take this too, because I, I knew I'd live that just because they, they weakened it, so... Oh my god, man. That is such a strong attack. Choice ban. So I'm going for the end game. Yeah, 36 to whatever, perfect. As they end up going Cinderace, 
Uh, I will go for U-turn here because I cannot allow Primarina in for free. I can't. Cannot allow Primarina in for free. I take Pyro Balls. Uh, if they bulk up, like it's, it's, it's so much worse for me to allow Primarina in than to do anything else. They end up going Magnet Zone. And this does give me Excadrone. I actually get a little bit of recovery here too. Now, granted, they will be able to take my hit. If they go hard into Rillaboom. Rocks up don't really do too much for me. I'm assuming they have court change either way. But I mean, then again, my team isn't relatively weak to rocks at all. Yeah, I, I rather just Earthquake. As they end up going Primarina. And this is exactly what I was talking about. This is a mine that it's probably subcom mine defensive variant. And I, I much rather, I have to land, I, like I want the Toxic off on this thing so I don't lose to it. Very good play on my opponent's part, switching out into Rillaboom. Uh, now my extra drill is back at 100%, so it is a, a basically guaranteed switch, in, a guarantee switch into Magnezone and whatnot. And at this point, they could kind of get a kill with Woodhammer. Uh, we're going to keep Clefable alive for Urshifu. Mandibuzz is basically useful uh, in that regard. I just don't want Primarina beating me down. Um, Shadow Ball, though, is stupid good in this game as well. Honestly, as much as Volcarona can sweep... I think it's better to use it for offensive pressure than to do anything else. Yeah, I, I really think, do think that's the case. Especially because I can use Toxapex as a pivot here. Gunk Shot is like the only thing they can go for that would knock me out, if it even would. And I can pivot from Toxapex and the Mana Buzz, but that also allows Primarina in. So that's the... I just need to position my Dragapult. But if Primarina goes for sub, I can go Dragapult and go for Specs Thunder. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna do that. That's what we'll do. Worst case scenario. As they end up U-turning here, and uh, I'm just gonna use my my Dragapult to I have to land. I'm just gonna use it to, to land Specs Thunder on Primarina. That's about it. Thunder does 69 to 82%. That's assuming it's this calm nature crap. I've been seeing bold a lot more too, and considering they have no Cinderace switching, it could be the case. Rillaboom comes out though, and again, uh, my Volcarona is not as useful here. I thought it could like endgame them, but I mean, I guess in this case, like it does get to click Psychic, which is pretty cool. Fiery Dance gets me a little bit more out of the turn though, so I'll, I'll go for that because if they go Primarina, I'm good. Uh, I'll be able to knock out Dragapult here, which is great. That's their speed control besides... I mean, that's their Scarfer as well, so I'm plus one. As your Shifu comes out. Why? Like, why, why, uh... Why even... Why risk that? You Scarf? Like, why risk me being timid? I'm plus one. But I like knockoff here as it deals with Cinderace's boots. Um, and at this point, without the, without the terrain up, that, that damn Rillaboom, but I, I gotta keep Clefable healthy as well. But that damn Rillaboom is a problem, man. It doesn't knock out Mandibuzz though, and it's just, if they click Pyroball here, it'd be worse for me, but I, I, I'm just so worried about Primarina clicking Substitute, so I'll U-turn here, and I'm gonna make the hard Dragapult play. Uh, if they click Substitute, it's worse for me. Yep. Now, Thunder does 79 min. Uh, this is 70%. I can't look. I'm going to close my eyes and click this move. I ended. I actually stared right at it, and we were able to knock out the biggest threat to my team, in my opinion. So now I can play how I want versus certain Pokemon. Um, I can basically... I, I don't have to worry about bringing in Mandibuzz. I don't have to worry about things like that. And I can always pivot into Toxapex once here. As they go for U-turn, and I have Excadrill as a switch in. Oh my gosh, it's it's so good right now too because if they go Rillaboom, they just give me the actual switch. And if, if they go Rillaboom now, like I always bring out, I always bring out Drill. So it doesn't matter the double they make. I just I basically got Regenerator on Toxapex, and uh, using Pex to Scout makes more sense to me. So I, I'm I'm just so happy. Like I'm, I'm there's like I don't know if you can hear the relief in my voice, but that Mon going down is amazing. Truly. So, I'll bring out Pex once more. As I U-turn back out, and uh, once again, I'm just going to make the extra drill play. 
Ooh, okay. And we'll just iron. Uh, do I have to iron head? No, earthquake gets me more out of it. Yeah. Don't believe I had to iron head. Yeah, I'd rather earthquake and, and get damage for spec shadow ball because at this point, whenever I bring out dragapult, it kills something. We always have tox effects as a pivot. Oh, they are like scarf or something. And I'll make the mana buzz play because it doesn't. Uh, basically. It covers the Rillaboom double if they made that play, and it lets me recover. And basically now Mandibuzz isn't 2 KO by Rillaboom. I don't care what attack they go for. I always go Drill. I always play Earthquake. Oh, they burnt me this time, which is a little bit more annoying. Okay. I'm actually going to click Rocks instead of that, just because I can weaken everything for Shadow Ball, like I mentioned before. And... Uh, simply, like, it, suck it sucks that they burnt me with the Tri-Attack, but... I mean, this is an easy position for me to go Dragapult now. Like, I don't have to worry at all. Um, I'm not going to let them Flash Cannon me, though. I want that chip on Magnezone. I don't think I knocked them out. And I'm not going to take a Specs Flash Cannon if I can afford it. And once again, we'll just click Earthquake. Because what I want is Rillaboom in, right? Magnezone, uh, Extra being alive means that Magnezone can't do its thing. I'm assuming at this point you probably U turn, but I always go Pex here. As they go zone. I'm scalding. Even if they Thunderbolt, you know what? Great play. Great play, but I have Clefable, which can deal with that and can eat hits from you. Uh, and again, my Dragapult plus Mandibus should win. So I'm scalding here. I don't care if they Volt Switch. I don't. Uh, I will be able to sack my. Um... Oh, never mind. They throw out our Shrifu. Great. So Rashifu dies to Scald. Yep, perfect. Perfect. So I don't have to worry about that sucker punch. Always go Excadrill here. Flash Cannon knocks me out. This lets me go Pex. And literally click Recover. And then just Scald now. Thick Core Change, it doesn't matter. Half my Mons are, like, basically, they're able to take every hit. Oh, they don't even have Zen. Nice. So we get rid of Cinderace there. At this point, I would say... This stops them from clicking Flash Cannon. I would say you're expendable. Yeah, I would say you're expendable because I can just bring out my Clefable and click Knock Off. Get the little bit of chip I need. And they go Rillaboom and I can just Shadow Ball and I shouldn't lose the Flash Cannon spam. At this point, anyway. I just click File Play. Actually, I lose nothing by clicking U-Turn. I lose nothing by clicking Roost, excuse me. Because if I... If I... If they would hammer and I stay healthy, they can't knock me out with Flash Cannon. They can't knock out Dragapult with Flash Cannon anyway. I just don't want to make myself or put myself in a position where I lose to Flash Cannon. That's Specs. Shadow Ball does 69 to 82. Actually, I'm going to foul play. Yeah, I'll foul play. Knock them out. So I guess I technically am giving them... Oh, never mind. I won. I won. Perfect. I had a feeling I might be faster. I'm actually faster than Mod Modest Magazine, so that's great. And then Spec Shadow Ball knocks them out, and that's a good game. Woo! Okay, so we were going to take the first one. Definitely a closer one. I, I was... Uh, good game, dude. I was very, very, very worried about that Primarina. That Primarina was a giant threat. I actually have to get something, so I will pause it, guys, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, so we are back, and just to show you, um, we got our ranking. We're 1821 with that, and uh, yeah, let's go ahead and look for another game. Um, I might pause it again after the next game, too. I think I need to eat. <laughs> I went to get food, but not for me, uh, and then I just drank some water, so we'll, we'll see how the next game goes, but uh, yeah, it should be a little bit more chill of an episode, I would say, today. Um, I'll record the future episodes like I usually do in the evening or close to the nighttime just because uh, I feel, you know, not, not necessarily the lack of energy, but I, I don't want to be, I don't want to play like I'm unaware. And we are playing Rain. Okay. So this is probably Water or Shifu. I'm going to hope that 
Toxabash just goes in in this game because it kind of walls every single Pokemon on our opponent's team. Volcarona, despite them having rain, is really nice. <laughs> like, it's very, very nice here uh, because it it checks these two Pokemon and even as Psychic for this, that's really cool too. I'm just going to go Dragapult early and see if I can get a surprise KO with Toxic. Uh, Thunder, excuse me, on them since I don't have to worry about this like landing and whatnot as we end up hitting the Feral Thorn upon switching. Not the worst case in the world, obviously. I even get a para, which is cool. Uh, and they have no item as well. So, uh, my Excadrill really has no role here besides getting up rocks, I would say. For Pelipper, as we end up uh, hitting them with the full para. So, uh, we'll throw off an Earthquake. The main reason I'm throwing off Earthquake is because I'd rather weaken them than get up rocks if possible. And we get beautiful damage on Kingdra for Volcarona, so that's awesome. Now, I just want to run a quick little calc on how much Toxapex takes from Draco Meteor. Uh, from Specs Kingdra in the rain. I know these Hydro Pumps are about to hurt, but they actually don't do a KO, which is awesome. And I don't like that. That 72% looks like it kills with a crit, so. We're gonna go Pex here. As they do drop a Draco. And uh, I do have a really nice switch in being the Excadrill right now. Um... I get my regen back, so I'm not as worried. And like I said, Drill is cool. Uh, I know that specs. Drill is really cool in being able to pivot around. Though they could make a double that hurts me um, into Urshifu, I would say. I mean, the next one, minus two, doesn't technically kill me. Yeah, the most it could do is 35%. Okay, I'm willing to risk that because I don't want them doubling out into something that's actually very threatening as they end up going Barraskuta. Uh, I'm assuming they flip turn here, so we're just going to Scald as they end up going for the uh, Banded Psychic Fangs, and I get a crit with Skull 2 and a burn and my opponent runs. So uh, again, um, their, their answers to Volcarona were already being limited, but I mean, obviously a crit plus burn is pretty big. I could easily have taken advantage by going Drill. Uh, I got enough back, and they would probably double out into Kingdra at that point to try and click Hydro Pump, which makes a lot of sense. But I guess with me killing their main Rain Abuser, they didn't really feel comfortable. I mean, look at Hex. And look at their team. I did not. I don't think I would have lost a scissor either between Toxapex, Foulplay, Mandibuzz, and Volcarona. I uh, even uh, Dragapult. So I got very uh, fortunate with that crit scald into burn. But I mean, at that, when they're fighting a, a team where Pex walls one, two, three, four, and five Pokemon. I mean, six technically. If you get, this thing doesn't even have leftovers. So I beat it one v one between Pex and like. Clefable, uh, just because Clefable doesn't have to care about Leech Seed or anything, or even Excadrill, I, I understand why they would forfeit there, so. Um, should I just get my food now? Uh, since I came back and played another game real quick, how much points did my opponent have? 1725, uh, what am I, 18, what is it, 1821? 1835, okay. So we'll pause it, guys, I will be right back. I should have actually eaten some food before anyway, but yeah, I'll be right back. All right, we are back, and I have eaten some pasta with Parmesan cheese. We had some chicken too, but I didn't feel like eating, I don't know. I want too much right now. Thank you for asking. Uh, a few things from my opponent's squad. Wow, actually, Drill is annoying. They're 1852. I'm 1835. Let me just make sure. There we go. Uh, Volcarona looks pretty cool here. Very little switchings from my opponent's part. Curum is an absolute nightmare uh, for me to deal with. But I feel like Clefable will help a lot when it comes to that, especially with clicking knockoff and whatnot. Um, I have to be careful about letting Kyurem in, but that also lets Volcarona just kind of mess up my opponent. And, uh... Drill is going to be their main way of revenge killing Volcarona, though. Huh. I'm just trying to think about, like, best ways to deal with a few of their threats. I know that Dragapult is a phenomenal lead. Um, I just drop a Draco on basically everything. And uh, don't have to worry too much about there. Togekiss is to be checked by Excadrill. Honestly, because Kyurem is such a giant threat, I'm going to go Dragapult, I think. They end up leading off with Rapid Strike or Shifu. Which I don't really know what the hell that means. But I'm going to click Spec Shadow Ball here as they end up going on to Magirna. And uh, I'm assuming I'll do a good chunk. 25%. Oof. That is straight up Assault Vest. Now, I do have an Excadrill upon, uh, to switch in, upon switching. I do have an Excadrill to switch into. Uh, this will allow them to go hip hat on though. Do I care too much? No, I can always go Clefable and click knockoff. Ideally, this thing is checked by Toxapex, though it could be sub bulk up, but Dragapult will help me check that too. It's good to know that this thing is a solve this. I expect a double from them here. They do throw off an Aura Sphere. Doesn't do too much at all. 
and uh, I'm willing to actually trade rocks just because they're it's really nice at this point, but I'm actually gonna toxic because this mon could be a problem behind a sub if it's like still sub bulk up, and I rather make it that I don't lose straight up to it. Now, I, w I would assume a U-turn would come out or something that can deal with pecs coming in. Um, Exegirl still deals with Toekiss, which is nice. I was hoping to catch a paddle on there, gonna be honest, but Hex is gonna look really good very soon. And if that is sub freeze dry, it's still a problem. Because I do have Toxapex as a switch, and I kind of want to click Iron Head here almost. But if they U turn, they're just going to go out into Kiram anyway. I'll make the Pex play. I know Kiram's going to come out though. Yeah. I'm just trying to think what's the. Uh, what was my best bet that turn? Now let's assume Choice Specs, freeze dry, 73 to 87%. All right, I'll try for Toxic here. Yep, they are Specs. Uh, we do manage to land Toxic, which is amazing. And I know for a fact that my Clefable is not too a KO by this. And because Clefable's main role is to deal with this, I should be okay here. As they double out into a Paladon. And I mean, that's a free knockoff for me getting rid of potentially I, uh, getting rid of potentially their uh, Rocky Helmet. Or Leftovers, as it sees to be the case so we'll wish up now into Manda Buzz I'm assuming they're gonna try and make the Excadrill play here uh, they could make the Magirna play as they end up going Kyurem and I want to say it's relatively safe for me to click Moonblast I shouldn't die to their hit they should double out into X. honestly I'm gonna click knockoff because if they go drill I want to get rid of potential life orb or, or rocky helmet or whatever they have leftovers as well that'll help with foul play rolls as they are life orb and I would have basically been able to eat their hit uh, no matter what, so I prefer this play. Now I anticipate them to for sure want to double out into Kiram here. But I'll make the Manda Buzz play anyway, as it looks like they don't switch. They end up Toxicking, which is a smart, very, very smart. Uh, we'll go for U-turn just to keep up offensive momentum here. And this will give me Dragapult, and I can just click uh, Specs Hex, because that will knock out Kiram. I don't have to worry too much about that. If they go Magir and I have Excadrill to switch in anyway, um, and Specs Hex, like I said, doesn't miss and it hits everything on their team. And they end up expecting me to predict their Magirna, so I get rid of the biggest offensive threat they had. In my opinion, anyway. I'm gonna make the Toxapex play, mainly because I have Excadrill already. And yeah, I, I didn't I didn't think they go a paddle and I thought they would go um, Urshifu, but I wanted to get that regenerator back, is what I'm trying to say here. So I can bring out Clef now. Hopefully not worry too much. And because they're toxic, I don't know if this is Swords Dance or just spin support straight up. Ooh. Hmm. I have Toxabex healthy enough for you, which is good. Alright, we'll make the extra play here. If they are a great play. They just flash cannon. And I will safely click Earthquake here. Uh, I'm not gonna get greedy versus this Pokemon, especially because it's it's their their main way of dealing with, uh, with Pult. And uh, honestly, I lose nothing by clicking Iron Head in the next turn. Yeah, absolutely nothing. Um, so, Clefable is still free. Uh, obviously, their Togekiss has become a little bit problematic though because of my play. Mandibuzz is safe. And we can U-turn. Mandibuzz is very safe. We can U-turn. Their Assault Vest, I, I don't know if this kills, I'm going to be honest. But <laughs> I didn't. I still think it's better to not let them Volt Switch there. And I'm going to do a Cold Kiss via, via Dragapult. Ah, perfect. So, once again, we just click Iron Head. We get rid of Magirna. Awesome. Um, I mean, Shadow Ball already looked good, but... I mean, it's already, it looks even better. And uh, I do have a Toxapex, but... Just want to make sure I'm not knocked out by Zen Head, but if they have it, or Shifu, Rabbit Strike, Choice Ban. 55 to 66. Now, Toxapex isn't the best in this game anyway, so it's okay, but I mean, it resisting this attack makes sense. 34. Max I could do is 35, I'm at 34. That is the absolute max I could do, like I said. So I'll recover here. Um, if if they get the roll to knock me out, which it looks like they didn't get, which is great. 
I love how those are crits too, so I don't have to worry as much about it. And I'll Toxic here because it hits... <laughs> At this point, I guess they're thinking they can't beat me. But basically, if I Toxic... They can't let me Scald because Hippo will be to a KO'd. If they went Toekiss and it didn't have Heal Bow and I got the Toxic off, it was basically a good game. And Hex would win. But I would not have forfeited if I were them because... Iron Heads are so tricky. If this was... There, okay, there's no way it was Swords Dance plus Toxic, right? Was it even Sam... Did I see Sam... Yeah, it was Life Orb, so it was Sam Rush. Um, I'm surprised it wasn't Leftovers when it came to that set. But basically, uh, had they... Um, had they... Let's let's assume I got that play right, right? And they went out into Togekiss. And I got to off on Togekiss. That means, okay, great. Togekiss isn't a threat. I click Hex. Hex knocks out her Shifu. Hex will knock out Togekiss. Hex 2 it KOs a Poudon. Hex 2 it KOs Excadrill. Um, I, I guess I did have enough Pokemon technically to stall out four turns of sand. And I say four because the fifth one is when a Poudon comes out. So that turn doesn't count. I'm just trying to think about, like, there is worst case scenarios. Whatever, we stopped them from getting Rex. I'm sorry. I do want my gear in a ban. And we are 1855 because of it. Not bad, not bad. Um, I'm going to be completely real. I'm not feeling the best today. <laughs> I'll, I'll try for one more. And I guess if the video is a lot longer, it's because I lost the one more and we keep going. But uh, we'll go for... I, I did hit my goal when it came to points. I wanted to hit in the 1850s. Um, but I guess I'll pause until we find one more. I'll be right back. So yeah, I like instantly regret <laughs> getting a game. Um, Chansey is annoying for me. Uh, okay, cool. No opponent. I don't. I don't really care. Uh, Chansey is definitely annoying for me, though. Why can't I see my Pokemon? I can't see the moves on my Pokemon. Is that normally how it is? I feel like I always see the moves on my Pokemon. Anyway. Sub Volcarona is nice. Offensively, Zero Aura is a giant problem to me, so I have to be very careful around that. And my X Girl is just as annoying for them, um, just because of Toxic and whatnot. I can see Volcarona putting in work here too. Does am I killed immediately by that? I don't. I think that Clefable is just a good start because I can knock off something as they end up, you know, using Slowbro there. So I get a knock off on that Pokemon immediately and. That is a Salt Vest Amoongus. Wow. Uh, so that means that Toxapex does not care about this Pokemon at all. Like, literally at all. We can go for Toxic. Ah. That's really cool. Not gonna lie, that's actually very cool. Okay, so I'll attempt to burn them then. That way I can Hex them uh, later. Assuming they don't have Heal Bell and Clefable. I mean, all they're doing is wasting uh, turns on me. That's, that's actually pretty cool. Uh, so we're wasting just sleep turns here. Now, assuming that Toxicity is not physical, I should be okay as well as Zero Aura comes out. And this is where it gets a little bit scary. Uh, we will go right for the Toxic here because I'll live one one Plasma Fist. And if I wake up, then that Mon is dealt with. I'm assuming a knockoff will happen as well. Wow, being a Salt Vest, that's really, really cool. I would knock off if I was the opponent. Cause because I have extra drill, but I'll make the Clefable play anyway, as they do end up going for knockoff. And we'll just softballed up as they end up going for bulk up. And this is kind of like, this is a Pokemon that can beat me down. So very, very, uh, very, very, very easily. Very, very, very easily, man. Ah, uh, is that Adamant? I think instead of using Volcarona here, I keep you because you can softballed up, and I attempt to get the burn with flame body, and that's like my way of beating them. I have two turns right now to get this. I have I have two turns. So, we'll sack this. We're being out Pult now, and uh, I'm just going to uh, click Shadow Ball here. Yeah, good game. I am so weak to this mod, so I basically my win con was the two turns uh, to do that, and we're gonna get one more. We're gonna get one more. I don't really care that, but the dude calling me cringe player. Like, <laughs> I play Pokemon and I have fun. We're doing the same thing, but uh, I knew that this team is super weak to that. That's why I tried to stay in with Pex to. I, I should have tried and stayed in one more, but I tried to stay in with Pex. Oh, I got this guy again. I tried to stay in with Pex in an attempt to uh, what's it called? To wake up in Toxic because I knew that mod was a problem. 
but it, I, I couldn't risk it on them not going for Plasma Fist again. But again, Toxic would have obviously helped me because I probably wouldn't have been swept by that. Uh, so very similar, we already know this guy's Assault Vest on some of their Pokemon. Um, I believe this is Bandit or Shifu, so that's very important to note. Still love Dragapult as a lead, no matter what. And Spec Shadow Ball is for sure my play, no matter what play they make. So very similarly, um, they have a Life Orb and I know they're toxic, so that means I'll knock them out either way with Foul Play. As they make the Apaddon play, very solid play. Um, I didn't have Rocks up in the last time I played, and I went Clefable, so I'm actually going to go for Rocks here for the first time. They... Damn, I... Okay, so I made a very bad... So now I have to try and win with Volcarona, uh, which hopefully will be possible. Like, I'm not too, too worried about losing with that Mon. Specs Freeze Dry is still a problem, though. We'll drop a Draco because I am modest, and they give me a pad on... I knew, I knew by me making a bad play, they'd hopefully make a play that would help me out. And now my Volcarona can potentially sweep on their Magirna. Excadrill comes out. I go hard into Mandibuzz. They spin I U-turn. They have one more turn of uh, a Sun left that hurts me. They do have Aqua Jet, so I have to be careful. But they can't knock me out in one hit, and Foul Play is going to devour them. Best case, I don't get flinched here. Nice. So we get rid of Drill. We keep Rocks up. Toekiss comes out with Heavy Duty Boots. And I'll simply U-turn here. I think this thing wins. <laughs> Oh, okay, I think Toxapex for sure wins. Now that I've gotten that off. We'll go for a double Toxic just because if they go Cure I can deal with that. I guess they could be... No, they're Roost plus Air Slash. I mean, same thing. I just go for Toxic here. You Volt Switch out into Cure and I can sack my Mandibuzz. Then I get a, a kill with Hex. Well, depending. Depending on how my opponent plays it out, of course. So I'm assuming Freeze Dry. If you do, I get in... I get in Volcarona, so it's actually scary if they freeze dry here. I think they ice beam first. As they end up dropping a Draco there. So cool, because uh, I can just bring out my um, my Kyurem safely, uh, my, my Volcarona safely and Quiver Dance up once as they go Toekiss. And I believe I substitute in an attempt to beat them down, because I want to obviously avoid the Thunder Wave. They could Air Slash, I guess. Now there's no point in me double uh, double quiver dancing here because they're gonna maybe they couldn't have broken my sub so maybe I should have. But they have Aqua Jet anyway to revenge me, so that's why I said there's no point. As we go our Shifu, and then go for Surging Strikes. I just scald here. As long as I keep Toxic Special alive, I don't see myself necessarily losing. I mean, if I get rid of the Assault Vest as well, I can just click Shadow Ball. If they Ice Beam, great play, but I go right back. Yeah, really nice play. I go right back, though. <laughs> nice. Let's assume they had Aqua Jet and not Zen Head, but I'm going to Toxic either way, I think. They go Magirna. I mean, similarly, I just click Volt Switch here. I mean, I click Scald as they click Volt Switch. And we're just, again, just wearing down Kyurem to the point where it's no longer a threat because Toxifex will beat a lot of their Pokemon. Now, if they click Freeze Dry, it takes two hits to kill Clef. And I can, I can safely bring out my, uh, my Volcarona here. And honestly, just click Psychic, because who cares if they go out to you? I'll click Fiery Dance next turn. Like That was actually a little bit uh, crazy that they went hard this, but I think they Shadow Ball lose now. Just raw. I do. Because Shadow Ball should kill or Shifu, right? Oh, it doesn't actually kill full full. Good to know. Kyurem takes that, Shadow Ball kills that, Shadow Ball is a gear, but Shadow Ball should win me the game regardless, I think. I do live one freeze dry, 
They could Draco here as well. It's not worth risking my Toxapex, even if they Draco, which is a good play. Oh, as they end up missing there. This doesn't kill... Yeah, this Mon isn't worth risking, so let him knock me out there. I mean, I bring out Pex and I just... Hopefully win, I think, right? Magirna. Calm. Oh, Max Max. Oh, okay. Yeah, I just go Dragapult. Never mind. This kills. Did I count this wrong? I did not put an Assault Vessel on them. Oops. 21 to 25. And, uh... Yeah, I mean, I just Toxic. Toxic on the Urshifu coming in. I think they have Aqua Jet as well. I'll live Surging Strikes. And I just want to make it so they die to Shadow Ball too. Alright, so Urshifu dies to Shadow Ball. I don't think Surging Strikes ever knocks out Dragapult from Bandit or Shifu, even if they're adamant. No, never. So I go out into Dragapult now. I mean, they can Volt Switch around all they want, right? Like, what's the, what's, the, what is, do they, am I in a losing position now? I, I, I'm, I'm suppo I suppose if I get fully paralyzed, right? All I have to do is Scald once on the Magirna coming in. <laughs> That's it. One Scald wins me the game. So they're definitely going for the full pair up. One Scald on Magirna wins me the game with Shadow Ball. So I'm going to go for that Scald right now. Let's see. I, I know I'm going to get fully paralyzed here too, but let's see how it goes. Yep. Okay, just recover. Like, come on, come on, come on, come on. One just wins me the game. Literally one will win me the game. <laughs> They're going for spadef drops. So they can bolt switch out the next one and hit and hurt me. Bro! Hey, 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 hey. No spadef drops though, which is funny. Come on, literally one Scald wins me the game right now. <laughs> Can we just get it off? Thank you. Gosh. Took way too long. Absolutely took way too long. So Shadow Ball knocks that out. And Shadow Ball knocks out Urshifu. Always recover here. Click Scald again. Because I'll kill them with poison. If they go Magir and I win too. Nice. Um, it sucks we got 6 0 but my team's really weak to zero aura. That's why I tried to stay with Pex on at one turn that I knew it'd live, but it was really hard to risk it after because Pex was going to be important to pivoting in on uh, Moongus. Pivoting in on. So, like, the max turn sleep really messed me up there. Or at least two turn sleep messed me up there. But. Uh, yeah, uh, where are we on the ladder now? I was 1855, then I lost to a 1900 player, so I shouldn't have lost too much. I was 18, I think I'm 1838 before. After, I, th I think I'm 1838 after the loss. Let me look at this. Yeah, so I'm 1858, so I ended up gaining three points from that. I'm okay with that. I think I'm going to end it on that, guys. Um, I, I, I don't know. I, I, it has to be this heat, man. Like, it's going all the way up to 100 degrees. Like I just have not been feeling it. When recording, and I didn't have the AC on with this one, which is bad. I should have had the AC on, but either way, uh, I think that was five games, so that's really good for uh, for at least when it comes to decay. So, I, well, I'm gonna decay anyway because I'm not recording Thursday. I'm recording again Friday. But uh, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed. If you did, leave a like, subscribe. I'll see you next time. Check out Ridge Wallet. Peace.